If you're looking for something to carry your papers in and work as a portable desk, check this out. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just picked this up. This is a portable clipboard, and these things have been around forever. You can get them in plastic like this or metal, and they're great for people that work, you know, delivery people, people that need bills of lading or invoices with them. Maybe they do estimates, those types of things, but they're also great for coaches so that you can sketch things out. I actually really like these because it keeps me productive. It allows me to take some paper and pens with me and do some work, as well as clip them right here and then work right on my lap. And this actually makes a lot of downtime for me productive. And so it's kind of a simple thing thing and I wanted to check out this one because I still use a lot of paper you know whether it's sketching things out or sharing some ideas or kind of roughing out some outlines of things I still like having a pad of paper with me in a lot of cases so this thing really makes a lot of time for me still productive so I can do some work and have the resources that I need and work on my lap now what you can see here is it's just a matte plastic had my fingerprints on there because my hands are hot what's really cool about this is that it's curved it's actually a little bit tapered you can see it's a little thicker down here it has a handle on this end which is really great a lot of these don't have that and if you're walking around with stuff this is just makes it so much easier otherwise you have to put it under your arm or grab it like that and it can be a little awkward so the handle here works really really well the other thing that i really loved about this is that it has a metal clipboard clip right here and the reason i like these is that they tend to wear a little bit better be a little more durable than the plastic clips but they also tend to be really really strong kind of like little mouse traps Whoa! and they hold the paper in there really well so if i want paper on here i don't want it to blow away you don't have to worry about that it has a little piano hinge on the end here and then it has a little latch right here just like that and now it can open up now i want to show you the inside here because it's actually pretty simple, but it's pretty clever. Uh, the top here is about a quarter inch thick, so you get a pretty decent dimension. I would say that up at the top here, it's probably about an inch and a half thick, but it probably goes down to about an inch or an inch and a quarter down here. So you can definitely put in some books or some things like that. You can definitely put in a fair amount of paper. But one of the really great things that I like is that the standard legal pads, not the legal legal pads, but what is this, the A4 size, will fit in there no problem. So if you're asking, hey, can I take a pad of paper with me? standard pad of paper yeah that's going to fit in there no problem obviously eight and a half by 11 is going to fit in there just fine now one of the things that you'll have to note is that they put these little tabs on the side and i think that is for structure so that the clipboard holds its shape so if you don't want your paper to kind of get chewed up on the end as it moves back and forth that might be something to consider i've never had a big problem with it but it'd be nice if it, there was like a straight edge here or something like that but i get that this allows you to have the maximum space available now also down here you have a slot where i can put in a pen because obviously if you're working with paper you're going to want some sort of writing implement and you can see i can put a pen in there i can actually put a few of them in there a marker dry erase marker or whatever you want you know uh, sharpie everything will fit in there and as you can see when you close it uh, all of that will get sealed now one of the things that i'm a little bit concerned about is the durability of this obviously it's plastic so it's not the strongest thing in the world but you can see right here even though this is brand new and i'm taking a look at it for the first time you can see that some of the plastic has chipped here at some point and it has fallen away so the plastic is a little bit brittle maybe not the strongest thing ever uh, if i really continue to use these a lot maybe i'll go ahead and step up to one of those metal ones i always just find them a little loud you know and, and something like this isn't something that i use all the time but like I said, if I want to write and be productive and just hold this in my arm, I can totally do that. If I'm stuck somewhere and I want to put this on my lap, I can use it like a little desk. I don't have to worry about my papers flying away or falling apart here. And I can snap it all back together and go with it. So these little storage clipboards are really, really useful for a lot of reasons. And they're under 10 bucks. So I'll put a link to this one in the description. Peter Von Panda, out.